So today I'm going to be presenting the muscular system again in another video because last time it got cut off again because of my storage uh, in my phone. There's not enough. Okay, so I'm going to start from the head. Okay, so the temporalis, usually a muscle name can give you clues, right, to its specific features. So the name reflects either a muscle shape, like the rhomboids or the location, just for instance, the temporalis here. The fiber action, like the adductors, right? Or the attachment sites. Just like the coracobrachialis, its a, in, origin is from the coracoid process and it's inserting into the brachialis, right? So usually, usually, right, it says where uh, it gives you a hit, just like the ligaments. Um, like I told uh, you that it, um, it indicates um, the attachment. Okay, so this one is the temporalis. Okay, it's inserted in, in the temporal bone and it's self-explanatory and the master um, is a chewing um, muscle, right? Orbicularis coli um, is the, the one around, right? Orbit, because it's, uh, meaning it's round, right? Orbital. So it's giving that um, hint, right? Similarly, for the orbicularis oris, this is ocoli, ocoli and this is oris, right? The lips, okay? Right, so it's orbit again because of its, its shape, its orbital. Okay, and this is omohyoid. Um, like these are not the complete because we have, um, you know, 650 muscles, but in here it's just indicating the major and superficial. Superficial meaning it's not the most deep muscle. Uh, when we say superficial is uh, the outer, outer um, muscle fiber. Deep is going towards um, deep within, let's say the organs or um, the sternum in this case, right? For the pectoralis major here and pectoralis minor. Okay, and we can also see deltoid there. Deltoid like trapezius um, have um, three um, fiber, you know, fiber portions. So, and as the trapezius has the upper fiber, the middle fiber, and then the lower fiber. So what it does is elevates it, right? It retracts. I'm sorry. It um, it protracts, right? And Retract, protract, and also it um, depresses. Okay, and in the instance of the deltoid, it also have an anterior, middle, and posterior. Uh, the anterior is, is this part here for the deltoid. And um, the most, uh, my favorite muscle, sternocleidomastoid, SEM. Um, this has to um, origin. Okay, keep in mind that this is the origin. Okay, in the external and then the uh, clavicular area, and it inserts into the mastoid process. Okay, so we have to know all of, all of these um, origin and insertion, and keeping in mind that, like I said, the, anat the ana anatomical names, uh, whether they're in Latin or um, in Greek, they will give you some hints. Okay, and also the you know um, how how the body uh, how the muscle works or what's its action you know you will have to remember it and simplify them according to how where it's located where it's the location the fiber directions those are a uh, few things that you need to consider okay so we're gonna go um down ahead to the serratus anterior okay and also um we have um the external oblique and the internal oblique, okay? And this one here is where, why everybody has a six pack is because of that abdominal aponeurosis, right? It has that ridges, those are all, just like in our palm here, um, it contains a lot of aponeurosis. Also at the, um, this is the anterior side, I'm gonna be doing the posterior side later, I'll show you some areas where there's a lot of um, aponeurosis, right? Uh, these are connective tissues or, or fascial, um, uh, the fascial system. I did a video with regards to that, but I can do another uh, short video again. Okay, so we're going to go, before we go uh, from the inguinal ligament here, uh, we're going to go to the arm. 
Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the biceps uh, brachii, right? This is the most, you know, the guns. Everyone uh, wants to show their biceps brachii. And um, briefly, I'm going to be talking about how muscle works. It contracts and it relaxes and it pulls, it doesn't push. Okay, so this is an, an usually when when you want to contract your biceps brachii, it's an integrated approach, meaning that the um, uh, antagonist will be uh, working to pull that muscle so that the biceps brachii can relax. Okay, I did a video with regards to that. You just have to um, watch it and, and sit down to it because after you watch it, you you know, everything will be simplified to you. Um, this, this channel is about simplifying and knowing it by heart so you'll remember it. And I promise you, if you watch all my video, you'll remember the anatomy um, and the physiology and also being a good therapist and or um, an educator. Okay, so um, flexor carpi uh, ulnaris, we have to remember that it's on um, the medial, right? Keep in mind, I did a video where i um, referring to medial and lateral. La lateral is going um, outside. This is the anatomical um, position where the little fing uh, finger is on the medial side, okay? It goes to the mid midline, right? So it's midline, and, and if it's going towards away, that's lateral. So, right. So keep keep that um, in mind that flexor carpi ulnaris is on the medial side, okay? And flexor um, uh, digitorum profundus is where it will, uh, usually reach um, onto the four fingers. Okay. So we're gonna go to the brachia um, brachialis. I mentioned this as an example, right? The coracobrachialis. It inserts into the coracoid process and then uh, it's origin, I sort my apologies, and it inserts into the brachialis. And then the flexor um, here uh, will show the movement. These are all individually um, presented. Um, individually, sometimes uh, there's two or three muscles, but I did a video on all of these, the origin and insertion insertion so please watch them so now we have these short muscles of the thumb i still have to do the muscle of the, the pat you know all that and so that you can um remember them uh, fast and then the mnemonics and all that and also i'm going to be doing a carpal um bones um video okay so i'm going to go ahead with regards to the from the inguinal ligament Right, going down to this is the pectineus here, and this is the sartorius that is um, the tailor's uh, muscles. It inserts here, as you can see, the gracilis and the rectus femoris. Right, and then underneath the rectus femoris is the vastus intermedius. Right, and we have the vastus medialis again, it's referring where it's looked located, um, right, it, it's medialis and lateralis is on the lateral side, okay, and we have the adductor longus, the adductor, right, it's giving you, um, you know, the action, right, so they adduct, right, they are the main adductors of the hip, okay, so we're going to go down to, this is the patella here, I just want to mention the knee, Right, that um, kneecap, and we're gonna go ahead to the gastroc here. Um, when if you're facing the the anterior, um, you will be seeing mostly uh, this portion of the gastroc, this portion of the soleus, right? But you can see gastroc and soleus on on posterior side, which I'm going to be doing in the next video. Okay, so extensor digitorum uh, longus. You keep in mind. I did a video, this is uh, compartmentalized, right? Um, all of, um, so we have to know which one is superficial, deep, and then anterior and posterior as well. So we have the gastric, I said, and on, on soleus, like I said, my apologies, <clears throat> and peroneus longus, um, TBL's anterior, and uh, uh, later on, we'll have that um, posterior as well on the, the posterior view. Extensor digitorum longus, okay, and extensor digitorum brevis, okay.
okay so um we're gonna uh, go ahead uh, to the posterior uh, view um, the anterior view has superficial muscles shown uh, mostly on her left i just want to mention that um, deeper muscles shown uh, usually is the cut muscle just like in the instance of the external oblique right because this is superficial muscle whereas internal is um, um, deeper okay so i'll see you guys um, with the posterior um, view of the muscular system